Hey guys, Leno here from PlayToEarn.net. Another month is in, and blockchain gaming projects have been busy building. Today I'll be talking about 5 games that you can keep an eye on this November, because they all have interesting things in store. So without further ado, here are 5 play to earn games to watch this November 2023. The first game on our list is The Sandbox. The Sandbox is a virtual world game being built on Polygon. The Sandbox is a 3D voxel-based sandbox game where you can use the game's suite of tools to create your own assets, games, and experiences, and share them with other players across the metaverse. You can also explore and play thousands of user-generated games, ranging from adventure, RPG, simulation, racing, puzzle, and more. The Sandbox has three main features, VoxEdit, GameMaker, and the Marketplace. VoxEdit is a voxel editor that allows you to create and animate 3D models in a simple and intuitive way. You can use VoxEdit to make your own characters, props, environments, and even NFTs. The Game Maker is a game creation tool that lets you design and publish your own games without the need for coding. You can use Game Maker to drag and drop assets, logic nodes, sounds, and effects to create immersive gameplay. You can also customize the rules, objectives, and mechanics of your games using the visual scripting system. At the Marketplace is where you can buy and sell your creations and NFTs. You can browse and discover thousands of assets made by other creators or sell your own assets for sand, the game's native currency. The Sandbox also features land, which are digital parcels of space where you can host your games and experiences. Lands are also NFTs that can be bought and sold on the marketplace. Each land has a unique location and size in the metaverse, and you can connect multiple lands together to create larger worlds. You can also join forces with other creators to form estates, which are groups of adjacent lands that share a common theme or vision. Why should you keep an eye on the Sandbox this November? The Sandbox recently released their Halloween Game Jam update, and registration is open until November 12th. The full theme for the event will be revealed on November 13th, and a $15,000 prize pool will be up for grabs. Aside from that, the Sandbox also announced the Halloween event, which will last until November 28th. This event will also have even more prizes in store, with a 600,000 sand reward pool. If you want to try and win some of these prizes, you can check the website. The next game on our list is Wild Forest. Wild Forest is a PvP strategy card game being built on Ronin. Wild Forest is a real-time strategy mobile game with player versus player battles and captivating card collecting elements. You play as a commander of an army of animals in a vast and beautiful open world, where you have to build your base, manage your resources, and fight for your survival. You can choose from a variety of different cards to collect and use in your battles, each with their own abilities and synergies. You can also customize your deck and strategy to suit your playstyle. Battles take place on various maps where you can unleash your strategic skills. Wise resource management and quick base development are crucial to victory in every battle. You'll have to take control of the territory by moving your troops to specific areas. You'll have to defeat enemy troops, place your own units on new territory, and wait while its borders change their color. The game has a realistic day and night cycle, as well as weather effects that affect the gameplay. For example, during the night, some animals become more stealthy and sneaky, while others become more visible and vulnerable. The weather can also change the terrain and resources of the environment, which can affect your base building and resource management. One of the most innovative features of Wild Forest is the Web3 integration. The game doesn't require an initial investment or blockchain background to start playing. However, if you want to take your gaming experience to the next level, you can use Web3 technologies to access the open economy of the game. You can earn tokens by playing the game, and use them to buy or sell cards on the marketplace. You can also own NFTs that represent your cards and use them in other games or platforms. Why should you keep an eye on Wild Forest this November? Wild Forest recently opened the pre-registration links for those who want to join their open beta phase. You can sign up by checking the link on their X post, and the final announcement for the beta date will be sometime next week. Keep your eyes peeled if you want to get in on this one. Liking this list so far? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you're always updated with games that you love. And now let's get straight back to the list. The next game on our list is So Rare. So Rare is a fantasy sports card game being built on Ethereum. So Rare is a next level fantasy sports game where you can collect and compete with ownable digital player cards featuring the world's best football, NBA, and MLB players. So Rare is a game that lets you create your own fantasy roster by scouting and collecting digital player cards. These cards are NFTs, which means they are unique and scarce digital assets that you can own forever. You can buy, sell, and trade these cards on So Rare's live market, which features thousands of players from over 300 officially licensed clubs. It's also a skill-based game where you can use your sports knowledge and lineup strategy to compete in twice-weekly competitions for amazing prizes. You can join different leagues based on your card level and preference, such as football, NBA, or MLB. You can also choose between global or regional tournaments, or even create your own custom leagues with your friends. The scoring system of So Rare is based on the real-life performance of your players. You can follow their stats and updates on the platform, or watch the live matches to cheer for them. The better they perform on the field or on the court, the more points you earn in the game. 
you can also get bonus points for rare achievements, such as scoring a hat trick or making a triple double. The prizes you win in so rare are not just bragging rights. You can also win cash, ETH, so rare player cards, game tickets, gear, apparel, and access to players and VIP experiences. Why should you keep an eye on so rare this November? So rare recently announced the NBA in season tournament with $100,000 in cash rewards up for grabs. This will take place during the group play stage from November 3rd to 28th, and competitions for all levels will be available. For more info, you can check the website. The next game on our list is Star Atlas. Star Atlas is an MMO DeFi space themed game being built on Solana. Star Atlas is a high fidelity, immersive space adventure and grand strategy MMO built in Unreal Engine 5 and sustained by a real galactic economy. Star Atlas is a game that combines elements of strategy, exploration, and role playing. You can own and customize your own spaceships, form alliances, engage in battles, and conquer territories. You can also mine, stake, trade, and craft NFTs that represent your assets and achievements in the game. Star Atlas features three factions Mud, Oni, and Uster. You must choose a faction to join and help shape its objectives, policies, and diplomacy. Each each faction has its own security zones, where you can enjoy different levels of risk and reward. The closer you get to the center of the galaxy, the more dangerous and lucrative it becomes. Star Atlas also allows you to explore the vastness of space and discover new planets, resources, and anomalies. You can scan and claim celestial and terrestrial assets and use them for your benefit or sell them to other players. You can also encounter hostile forces or friendly allies along the way. Star Atlas has a rich and diverse gameplay that offers you many options to customize your experience. You can build your own space station, outfit your ship with different components and crew members, choose from various professions such as bounty hunter, pirate, or trader, and join or create your own decentralized autonomous corporation. Why should you keep an eye on Star Atlas this November? Star Atlas recently announced its latest offering, the Golden Ticket Event. As part of the Sage Labs browser game, this 8-week promotional campaign boasts a whopping $1.35 million prize pool, with players competing for their share. The event allows players to craft unique SFTs called Golden Tickets that can be entered into weekly draws, and the first drawing is scheduled for November 3rd. This event will span over 8 weeks, and for more info, you can check the website. And the last game on our list is Cantina Royale. Cantina Royale is an action PvP shooter game being built on Multiverse X. Cantina Royale is a free-to-play and play-to-earn game that combines fast-paced action with NFT ownership and rewards. In Cantina Royale, you can choose from different NFT characters, each with their own stats and perks, and compete in various PvP modes against other players. The game has different modes that you can play, such as Team Deathmatch, Team Killstreak, a practice mode if you want to test out your skills first, and a rumble mode that is coming soon. The gameplay is smooth and responsive, and the graphics are colorful and vibrant. You can earn CRT tokens by playing the game, which you can use to upgrade your NFTs, buy new ones, or trade them on the marketplace. You can also lend out your NFTs to other players and earn passive income from their earnings. This unique combination of free-to-play and play-to-earn allows regular gamers to get started with the game without the high initial costs of buying an NFT. The game is powered by Multiverse X, which allows scalability and security along with fast transactions and low fees. The game also uses the Burko Metaverse, which is a framework that allows seamless integration of Web2 and Web3 technologies. Why should you keep an eye on Cantina Royale this November? Cantina Royale recently announced their version 2.1 update, which brings the latest changes to the game, including balancing weapons, a new talent reset feature, a new weapon sacrifice feature, and the introduction of monthly tournaments. If you want to learn more about these changes, you can check their website. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you were looking for play to earn games that had something going on this November, I hope this video helped. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info and everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.